This video clip will show us how important the unmanned aerial vehicle UAV in the battlefield. This young rebel is fighting against the Turkish government. The Turkish government wants to take back the city of Afrin but there are resistance coming from local rebels. The use of unmanned aerial vehicle is a game changer. They can track the whereabouts of this rebels. Like this one, this drone footage shows us that a group of rebel is being tracked and then just a click of a finger, then boom. We'll talk all about the existing unmanned aerial vehicle UAV system of the armed forces of the Philippines. What kind of UAV we have? How it works? Or do we really have UAVs in our inventory? Also we will discuss the future plans and acquisition of the AFP. So, hope you like it. Let's start. Let's find out. When we say unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, it is commonly known as a drone. It is an aircraft without a human pilot on board and a type of unmanned vehicle. UAVs are a component of an unmanned aircraft system UAS, which include a UAV, a ground-based controller, and a system of communications between the two. The flight of UAVs may operate with various degrees of autonomy, either under remote control by a human operator or autonomously by onboard computers. The Armed Forces of the Philippines has four unmanned aircraft system UAS on its inventory. MAG Super Swiper 2 UAV Boeing In-Situ Scan Eagle Elbit Hermes 450 Elbit Hermes 900 First on the list are the MAG Super Swiper 2 UAV. MAG Super Swiper 2 UAV are made for operations where real-time video observation and surveillance capability is of the utmost importance. The Super Swiper 2 is 100% autonomous, with camera, altitude, and target prosecution guidance modes, and constructed of carbon, Kevlar, and Vectrin. A cruising speed of 30 knots. Endurance up to 3 hours and it has a range of not less than 100 km. The Philippine Marine Corps PMC, has this system that they are using for target acquisition and surveillance. Under Marine Forces Imagery and Targeting Support System MITSS program, which was delivered in 2017, the PMC received six unmanned aerial system plus two spare system. With three MAG Aerospace Super Swiper 2 UAVs in each system, for a total of 24 UAVs. The Boeing In-Situ Scan Eagle is a small, long-endurance, low-altitude, UAV. Scan Eagle carries a stabilized electro-optical and infrared camera on a lightweight inertial stabilized turret system, and an integrated communication system having a range of over 100 kilometers. It has a flight endurance of over 20 hours. The Philippine Air Force received six Scan Eagle 2 aerial system on March, 2018. One system is composed of four UAVs. The Elbit Hermes 450 is an Israeli medium-size multi-payload UAV. Designed for tactical long-endurance missions, it has an endurance of over 20 hours. With a primary mission of reconnaissance, surveillance and communications relay, the Philippine Air Force already received one system last year, which includes three Hermes 450 UAVs and ground control system. The contract price worth 470 million pesos. The Elbit System Hermes 900. It is a sequel to the Hermes 450 series of drones. It has an endurance of over 30 hours and can fly at a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet. Payload options include electro-optical, infrared sensors, synthetic aperture radar ground-moving target indication, 
communications and electronic intelligence, electronic warfare, and hyperspectral sensors, the Hermes 900 will become the most advanced UAV with the armed forces of the Philippines. The Air Force procure three system or nine UAVs and supporting system worth 470 million pesos. First Hermes 900 delivered September 2019 and expected to be completed by year 2020. We will talk on some remarkable future acquisition. One of this is in Philippine Army. Philippine Army has always included the need to acquire UAVs as part of its proposed acquisition under the Horizon 2 phase of the revised AFP modernization program. The Philippine Army categorized the unmanned aerial system of different sizes into tier. Tier 1. It is a multirotor UAS intended for company or battalion level units. Some example of this UAS are Orbiter 2. Skylark 1 LEX Tier 1 Fixed Wing UAS This is intended for brigade level units. It would have a range of 30 to 40 kilometers and an endurance of more than one hour. Elbit system offer their Skylark 1 LEX Tier 2 Fixed Wing UAS A range of around 100 kilometers and endurance of up to 6 hours. It is for division level units. Elbit system offer their Skylark 3 for this project. Tier 3. Large Tactical Medium Altitude Long Endurance UAS. UAVs that can fly hundreds of kilometers and can stay for a long period of time. Intended for specialized surveillance units. Hermes 450 is one of the favorite contender in this project. From today, it's just a matter of time when we can see this hardware being used against the enemy of the state. This will give a big boost to our men in uniform. Please subscribe for more videos.